Right, morning again. I'm just going to go ahead and try and uh, fit these racks. It looks as if it could start raining, but we'll try and get it done before it comes. Because if it does, then I'm going to have to get Nikki to help me with speeding things up. Right, I've already taken the seat off. I'm sure everybody knows how to take the seat off. Um, I've just disconnected it to the live power for the heated seats, rear and rider seat. So what has to come off? This, this, that, that, and that. Just to make things easier. And this comes off as well. Just so as it's out the way um, to fit the rack. So I'll go and get this all loosened just now and then I'll go in and get the rack. Right, I've started fitting it back together. All you have to do is just loosen these bolts here, take them out and use the ones that I've supplied and mind putting a washer in there. Um, I've just taken this off. I couldn't remove this bit for some reason. I think it's because of the, the tail thing. So that'll just stay there. I'll bolt that back up. And that's that bit there that you have to remove to get this out. Right, so you move that back like that. <coughs> As I say, I'm just in the middle of installing this and now it's really, really easy. Um, I've got the torque settings. Can't remember what they are at the moment, but I will get them. Uh, and this bit here, you've got the bolts down here as well for to put it under. There's a separate wee bolt, which is, <coughs> goes under this bit here. And that attaches to that bit. Well, that's one side on. I'm just doing the other side now and what you're going to need is a 12mm spanner for the catch the nut uh, in here so I've still got the nut in there so that comes in there you hold that and you'll need a 12mm socket to hold this and then start listening uh, so that's that one done. I've got this one here to do. Take that off. You can reuse these nuts, but you do get new ones with it. So I would rather use the new nuts. Uh, but you don't use this bolt. You use the new bolts that you get with the pack. Right, that's them all on. I've just to put this all back together. Uh, but before I do that, I need to torque these to the correct settings. As I say, I've got it on my phone, I'll get that in a minute. And the final bit to go on was this bar here. It's just two bolts at each side. Again, they'll all be torqued. And there's a little rubber thing here to stop this bashing against your exhaust. Don't forget to put that in. But that's them. <coughs> Fairly easy. Really easy to install. And that's my scissor. Right, so I'll get this all uh, torqued up. I'll put the torque settings on the screen. That's the Tiger Rally Pro. All done. We have new pannier racks on. I'm just waiting on the Expedition panniers coming. Which is coming by DPD and that one will be coming until after Christmas now. Uh, Okay, we walk around, but that was so easy to install, very easy. Right, I'll show you what I got done for the machine. I'm going to do this today as well. I'm going to... Uh, 
had me install the, the sat nav with a ram lock on here. This only cost me £20. The original one is only a thin little thing, but this is this was £20. It's so easy to move. Stud day as hell. This light guard was 27 And we all know about these bars. I've actually dropped the bike and it's pushed this right in. So be careful there. Um, the new bars apparently have got that. Well, they do. I've actually seen it with Vanessa Ruck. Uh, I mean, the, the Triumph doing the tour or that rally. Um, there's a bit coming from here into there, which should make this a lot more sturdy and hopefully prevent it going into the bass tank. I hope you can hear me right over the engine. That's that all done. Easy job. Easy peasy. Well, I'll catch you all in a bit when I go and get this uh, sat nav ram lock installed. That's the Tom Tom Raider 500, all connected with the ram mount. Well, I've not connected it yet. I don't know whether I'm going to wire that up. That's a continuous feed. This DIN socket. So if you put anything in there, even when the bike's off, it just continues to power it. This one, however, the one at the back is switching power. So they should have put that at the front. That's what I prefer anyway. I had this, I had this too close to the thing there, so it's easy to come off. Just lift that, press that in. You don't need to press it in when you're putting it back on. Job done. As you can see, I've still got it on the sky route. Very sensitive. And it works great with uh, my gloves on as well. Oh, there you go. Doesn't it look the worst? For an adventure bike, it's going to have all this. Anyway, that's everything all done. Just waiting on the panniers. These are my stickers that I've got now, so if any of you want to be kind enough to send me some stickers, please do, so as I can decorate my box. Uh, I'm actually going to get some done for my Motor Tripper channel. Um, but as I said, thanks cats by the way, it looks ace. I'm going to put your other one, the white one, on my panniers when they come. Catch you all later. Bye, have a good Christmas and have a fantastic new year. Bye-bye.